So a great example here of the diverse management challenges we have. So we have some Arundo here, right? So Arundo is growing up. Um, this, this invasive species that it's constraining our hydrology, making a lot of problems, uh, making, bringing one fire into a lot of our uh, riparian and wetland ecosystems that did not have fire, one. Two, constraining, uh, adding um, uh, higher edges and tighter edges and more robust edges, taller, more biomass, so it's harder for water to jump into the floodplain when it does. So all kinds of those management challenges, which make disaster impacts greater, floods greater, that kind of stuff. But then also, this guy um, is a fantastic fire re-sprouter. So as we can see right here, this, this Arundo individual has sprouted from a burned from, from you know this guy this guy this guy was on a place that fire came in and burned all the above ground stuff was removed so it would look like if you came in after the fire it looked very clean and all good but because it's such a fantastic plant the underground part the rhizominus the root area persists and so right after so we saw this after the 2013 fire the riparian corridor at CSUCI within three days we had leaves out sprouted within a week we had about that much of growth of this new green tissue. So a fantastically resilient plant. So fire doesn't hurt it, it knocks it down. It comes back faster than our native vegetation. So we have a fire, instead of getting rid of this invader, that fire promotes this invader. So it tends to make it more likely to burn in the future. So, so a great example of the challenges that things like invaders can add to disaster management, even though we don't normally think about that, but coastal management, disaster management, complicated by invasive species like a runner.